Hey, uh, fellow our team, uh, just taking a look at this uh, grading the, uh, the government paper. And so just going to just show you what's available to us here. If you come down, you know, as you normally do, you go down to needs grading and then uh, go ahead and just grade all users. Um, so when you come in here, just go ahead and uh, you click this little icon up here. That'll open it up. And then as you go through uh, each one, you'll see these options over here. So if you hit this one here, that's the rubric form. And uh, sorry, it goes from right to left, it's a little weird, but uh, you kind of just have these, uh, these five areas, obviously just use your judgment. And then uh, within this program, you can actually mark it up in here if you like, but you just kind of move the cursor here around to whatever you think score represents them best. So it, it defaults them to five uh, and as little as two. Um, so, uh, you could just, you can just put all that in and then you just hit apply to grade and that will, uh, generate their overall score and you can still edit that in the end. Sometimes that comes up, you know, I, I'll grade it all and it'll be like a 75 and, and I'll just feel like, you know, that's a, that's a B and you know, so I'll just add the five points, uh, you know, uh, but it's kind of just, it's rough as best. So, uh, anyway, I would suggest just using that. I think that gives them quality feedback and uh, something for us to go through if in the event they, they want more clarification. So hopefully that helps. And I appreciate you all's uh, hard work. Thank you.